It gives me great pleasure to introduce Omar Duque. Omar has been the president of HITECH since 2018. He joined us a little bit over a year ago. And I like making this fun about, you know, fun facts about the presenters. Um, he's been married for 17 years. He has, he's the father of two children. He's an avid runner. He's going to run the Indianapolis Marathon in two weeks. So we're looking forward to seeing all his Facebook posts and cheering him on at the competition. Omar Duque. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Yvonne. So last month, a small group of high-tech leaders came together at an event in San Diego to talk about technology and specifically the future of you at a massive event focused on me. As we were planning for that event and uh, putting together those presentations, it re-emphasized for me just how significant and important our work at high tech really is not just to the people who make up the high-tech community, not just to the people in this room, but genuinely for the future of our country, for the future of our economy, which at the end of the day is really the future of you. And it's time that we change the narrative. It's time that we change the conversation about empowering the next generation of leaders the next generation of Hispanic tech and business leaders in our country. You see, Nelly mentioned some fun facts earlier today, but we live in an America where Garcia is the fifth most common last name. In Los Angeles, it's the most common last name. We live in an America where Latin music is more popular than country music. Think about that. We live in an America where the number one stream song of all time, what is it? Despacito. <laughs> Hopefully these numbers aren't new to you. Maybe the Garcia one, that, that might be a fun fact for our community. But hopefully these numbers aren't new. And Nelly talked about his, uh, Hispanics comprising, making up 50 million people in the United States, uh, making up 18% of the US population and contributing to 52% of the population's growth in the last 10 years. Nelly said our purchasing power was 1.5 trillion. Since, the mo since this morning's breakfast, it's grown to 1.7 trillion. <laughs> I didn't just grow it, like that was an actual figure that, that we found when, when we were doing this, this research. And I know that this might seem silly, but we also live in an America where Sofia Vergara is the highest paid TV actress, not just for this year, not just for last year, but for the last seven years in a row, where the number one Instagram influencer, Selena Gomez, is Selena Gomez, she has an astounding 157 million followers on Instagram. I tried to reach out to get her to post about high tech, we'll see. <laughs> and we live in a time where Shakira is Facebook's most liked person on the planet with more than 100 million followers. So what does this, what does this say? You wanna know what it tells me? The future is Latina unquestionably. That's why at High Tech, we're committed to working towards gender parity, not just within our membership, but in the tech industry. I think that we have an opportunity to push for gender parity in the tech industry, and it's something that we're willing to step up for and something that we're willing to lead. We are incredibly proud of our partnership, and those of you who were here for the Women's Technology Forum um, you know, got to see all the great energy uh, from our panelists. Um, but we're proud of the partnership with Accenture on developing uh, this Women in Technology Forum, and we think there's a unique opportunity for, to grow our work 
advocating for and celebrating the successes of Latinas in technology. So we're gonna plan on more stuff moving forward. So stay tuned for more uh, on our ability to, our work to grow Latinas in technology into 2020. I'm happy to report, and tomorrow night we're gonna be celebrating the, uh, the recipients of the High Tech 100. I'm happy to report that 45% of this year's uh, awardees of the High Tech 100 are Latinas. That is the highest percentage that we've ever had. Yes. Now 45 is better, but it's still not 50. And we are committed to working to get to that 50 mark, and I'm confident that uh, as we continue our work, we will get there. I'm also proud to report, and those of you at the breakfast heard this as well, I'm proud to report that starting January 1st, when Nelly Borrero from Accenture and Maria Lensing from AT&T join our board of directors, our board will now officially be 50% women, 50% men. So as you can see, we're working to change the conversation about what it means to be a Latina in technology, and we're working to change the face of leadership in companies across America. We are privileged to have an amazing group of leaders, our board members, who are among the top business and technology leaders in America, who have had incredibly successful careers, but who also invest their time and energy here at High Tech to help us change that narrative. I am incredibly thankful for their leadership as we work together with our corporate partners, our members, everybody here in this room to connect, inspire, and grow influential Hispanic technology executives while developing the next generation of leaders. Tomorrow night at the High Tech Gala, uh, we are also going to be raising funds for the High Tech Foundation. This year, in 2019, the High Tech Foundation awarded 32 $5,000 scholarships to Hispanic college students across the country. We hope that you can help contribute to these efforts as we work to expand the number of scholarships that we provide to Hispanic uh, college students, but also we are uh, calling on our high-tech corporate partners to step up with opportunities in their, uh, in their workforce, with internships, uh, with internships for our uh, high-tech scholars, and also mentorship opportunities so that we can genuinely develop this next generation of technology leaders. In the next couple of weeks, this is something that we're really excited about, in the next couple of weeks, with the support of one of our corporate partners, Capital One, we are going to be publishing the first ever data-driven report on the voice of Hispanics in technology. We're partnering with a Latina founded data analytics firm to look at unbiased, unsolicited feedback on what Hispanics and technology are saying are the biggest drivers and the biggest barriers as they look to get into leadership roles. Not surprisingly, some of the data that we've started to see tells us that Hispanics value company culture and quality of coworkers. So they want to work with people that they like, that they find interesting, that they find talented and diverse, but also we have to accept this, but also across the board, Hispanics as a whole have kind of negative sentiments uh, as they continue to say that perceived discrimination, exclusive company culture, and unsupportive work environments continue to be major, major barriers. So we wanna work collaboratively to find solutions for this. And we look forward to rolling out these findings of this report, as well as working to build comprehensive solutions to help companies build more inclusive and wel welcoming environments while developing top Hispanic executive talent. We have an exciting summit planned for you. I hope that all of you have downloaded the, uh, the event app. Um, we are incredibly grateful to Adriana and the entire team here at Oracle for being such gracious and welcoming hosts. And I'd like to ask you all right now to please join me in thanking Oracle for hosting us and for their hospitality. <laughs> Nellie talked about our responsibility as leaders earlier this morning. And I think that really gets to the essence of why high tech. What started about 12 years ago as a small community of IT executives, today is genuinely the most influential, 
is the most influential community of Hispanic technology executives. And in an age where every company is a technology company, where IT is now a driver of business value and not just a support of business operations, we have a unique opportunity not just to contribute to the US mainstream economy, which is what this event in San Diego Latitude was about, but to lead, to build tomorrow's technologies, to build more inclusive business environments that we ourselves are looking for, and to create a better future for our country, for our children, and to create a better world. This is what we do, all of us together. Not, not just us as a team, not just our board, but all of us. This is genuinely why I believe that corporations partner with us to advance this cause, to create more opportunities, to create more inclusive uh, environments. And as we continue to grow, I genuinely believe that we have the ability to drive this next, this next chapter of American life. I'm pleased to report that, and, and, and we mentioned this last night, this is the first time that we have sold out a high-tech summit in the way that we sold this summit out. We closed registration a month ago. And part of it is just our sheer growth. We've added 13 new corporate partners in the, in, in the last uh, 12 months. Here's a, our list of corporate partners. If it's hard to see all the logos, it's because it's really getting hard to fit them all on one page. Um, but I do want to take a moment and recognize a few companies that, that stand out. First of all, I want to recognize Bank of America, Freddie Mac, and Oracle for being our three host uh, sponsors this year. Um, it was incredible to have the opportunity to go and uh, spend time with Bank of America, Freddie Mac, and, and, and now Oracle. I also want to recognize United Airlines, who hosted us in Chicago for a one-day regional summit. I thought it was a really, really great success, and it's part of the work that we want to continue to do. So thank you, Bank of America, Freddie Mac, uh, United, and Oracle for hosting us. And I also want to thank and recognize Fannie Mae and Bank of America again. These are two partners that this year have stepped up, uh, not just stepped up by increasing their investment, but have really stepped up in a number of different ways, um, from uh, including more people in our summits, from agreeing to work and to do on-site programming. I was just at Fannie Mae a couple of weeks ago. Um, they genuinely are... Um, exemplary corporate partners, and, and, and we want to be able to replicate uh, those relationships with other corporate partners. So if you're interested in knowing uh, what these great companies are doing to really fully take advantage of everything that high tech is, please come and talk to me, uh, Susana, Viviana, anybody on our team. We'd love to get more companies to, to be able to step up and do more uh, as we work to uh, grow and expand our work. Um, we have a full day's worth of planning, uh, programming today and then tomorrow, the gala, obviously, tomorrow night. I genuinely hope that you find value in the community, in the networking, in the familia. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the session. We want to hear from you. As soon as the, this session is over, you're going to get an email from us uh, asking you what you thought of, of everything, from, from the venue to the food to the hotel to each of the individual speakers. Um, I can tell you that when we did this at, uh, at our last summit, we got some really great feedback and it helped really inform the types of speakers, the types of sessions that we are putting on at this summit. Uh, and your feedback and, and, and your insights and your opinions help make us better. So please don't be shy, please be honest. Uh, tell us what you're really thinking, uh, because that's what's going to help make us better. So with that, high-tech familia, gracias. I hope you have a great uh, summit. Thank you again.